Hi, I'm David Wegener. I bring you chess sessions daily other than Sundays for obvious reasons. Today I wish to show you a computer game. Okay, now lots of computer games are out there, uh, but this is a bit different than the run of the mill uh, computer games because this computer game was played on the 27th of April 1980. So we're talking 37 years ago. So anyway, what's the significance of that? Well, black is my computer, which is Chess Challenger 7, and my Chess Challenger computer cost me about 1978 $330. My friend's computer is Boris, and his computer cost him $450. Now, I've got in the, incorporated in the score sheet back then from the Otago Chess Club an area of first game where something happened, a glitch with my computer so we just disregarded that so I'm not going to show you that game and I have my friend here Sam here too as well and uh, he can probably ascertain whether or not this is correct or not but here is a score sheet here and so that's the score sheet so I don't mind showing you the score sheet here in this case because the next game that I played was on the 28th of April 1988 and this is myself versus the computer 7 that's what I just called it I called it a match game and it was 6 minutes a move whereas on level 6 from my computer Chess Challenger 7 whereas my um, my game against Boris was set at level 3 whatever that means I don't understand it completely but anyway let's see how these computers play let's go for it E3 well it looks like we're gonna move so you haven't really showed me this um, moves beforehand no so um, it's gonna be interesting then to watch and uh, Sam has just um, has told me that I've done quite well against some computers, but I don't know what it all means. But what are they? Well, um, so far your score is uh, pretty good. You've drawn against Houdini. Um, you've you've drawn against Komodo as well. Komodo Seven, which is rated three thousand and thirty-five. So I have two draws. And two and draws, and, and you won against surprisingly against Stockfish Six. Which is oh. rated for three thousand three hundred. I don't know if it really is. I can't be. Well, you know how to beat a computer. <laughs> I mean, you've studied the art of um, how to just mess up their their play. I don't know. I'm not sure. So we have a little bit of repetition going on here between Boris and Chess Challenger Seven. So it's quite cool, really. So the the almost like not knowing what they're doing. Knight C3, I'm going to make this up to 10 minutes long, this video for you, so you can watch and um, uh, reminisce over these fine things that mine was, uh, you would just press the piece down on the square where you were moving your piece to. And I just and want to, oh, sorry to cut you off, David, go but for it. just the bishop there on the C1 is not doing pretty good. <laughs> no, and I, I, I want thank to, you. In the human level, um, <laughs> that's, I don't know. Um, yeah, how would you no, evaluate it here really? on C1, yes. It's a little bit odd that White plays, that's not my computer by the way, that's Boris. You know, not Boris Spassky, we wish. But anyway, here we go. Um, so yeah, that's a comment of that, like, uh, as I say, often are, uh, yeah, uh, like they say in Harry Enfield or something like that or whatever. They, they say that I say and everyone else says that's half reasonable say to, uh, make sure you move your pieces out well Boris isn't it, sadly it, it looks like black is in a, good, a better shape here actually more active pieces rather than white it looks like um you've got what do you what do you reckon I reckon it's pretty dodgy it's <laughs> pretty, pretty dodgy yeah I reckon it's pretty dodgy what's going on uh, it's like both 
don't know what's going on. Oh, but they, but probably position, don't, but they probably don't know how to play against each other, you know? They probably <laughs> go, oh no, hang on, I'm playing another computer. I better hold back here. Yeah. Are there, are there, there are more active pieces um, on Black's, um, you know? Yeah, there are, yes. Although I just find the rook on h5, this rook here, and like no casting's gone on. And watch this next move. Knight b5 again. We've had, we've almost had this position about eight times. As if like the Queen computers are hesitant to make moves. Eh? Yeah. And now they've gone, now they've gone for it. Now yeah. a5 for some reason. I don't know why. But just wait till you see the end. Now I watch this. This is no good because this just uh, loses an exchange for my side. Yay, my side, my side win. But that's not, it's not exactly clear how they go about it. It's a bit dodgy. I'll kick the knight away. Queen f5, threatening queen f3, of course. So we're th black's threatening. It won't let me play this. Queen f3. So, um, oops, sorry, excuse me, you're not meant to see that. So, that's the New Zealand world champion of rugby. Queen e6, Queen d1, but it's probably going to happen sooner or later. But it was accidental. Now look at this. Now the queen goes into a hole for, uh, I don't know, what do you think, Sam? It's enough of me. But as, as can be seen here, Black's threatening bishop takes or rook takes or something similar to that. So bishop e3 comes. Now e6 for some reason. It's really dodgy. C5. E5. Look, bishop e5. Well done, yay. Chess challenger 7, yay. Queen h5. What? <laughs> Have you gone insane, des computer? Desperate move. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it gets these, the, it gets the, piece in the rook for the queen but it's not very good for white to undertake such play. F6 and you know there is compensation but it's pretty feeble. So the queen just has to find a way to nibble into the situation. So just Let's remember this is my computer playing here. It's very, very personal, these sorts of things. Now, if the king takes the pawn on h3, then queen takes knight would suffice. Because other than rook takes pawn as well, but queen takes knight and the queen cannot be captured if the king takes this pawn because it's checked with the rook. So back to the main line h2 threatening queen greedy isn't it now white could be met with rook f3 here which would be quite brutal but white played as the computer does rook h1 i mean rook d1 threatening queen h1 now knight g3 protecting it and now white could be met with queen g3 etc which is pretty final rook c1 see it just seems to be quite materialistic king h2 and then queen f6 drops back here quite surprising queen f3 and now the final moves are the following and we're going to be on our 10 minute break okay that's the end of this session oops before you end it i just want to like, take this chance i just thought about maybe your subscriber screw your subscribers might want to think who, who's sam and why did you bring me to sort of collaborate with you on, on this video but let me just let um tell your viewers that you you coached me and helped me become a better chess player when before i met you my rating in chess.com was I don't know if I believe this because I've seen you, I've, I know that you've played Be against uh, Eugenio Torre and uh, you held him to more or less an even position right toward the end. Well, you know that I played with a grandmaster when I was um, young and I, you know, it was an end game. It was a good play for mine, but I nearly, you know, 
I was crushing that game, but at least I survived an in-game. But yeah, I just want to say that when, um, before we, before I met you, my rating in chess.com was like, um, 1700. Wow. And, um, I couldn't even, you know, make it to 1750. I always lose a game and then after playing against you, my, my games just improved. And you know what? My, my new rating in chess, 20, uh, chess.com is 1935, but in chess 24, it's 2000. So you have actually helped me improve my game from 1700 to 2000. So thank you. You have you've been coaching me a lot, and yeah. I but think what you say is correct, as if you play a reasonably strong player. Absolutely. Uh, it always brings your game up. Absolutely. So, okay. Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much for those words, Sam. And I haven't paid him for that really yet. But anyway, that's the end of this session. So today's date is the 30th of November. But this will be for the 1st of December 2017. Thank you very much. See you next time on The Muppet Show.